The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork. Today, we do have a very special nerd joining us, Mr. Leo Des. Maybe one of the only guys that might not need an introduction on this platform. Okay, next one. Are you guys ready? Yep, oh boy. It's an interesting sign to be in a restroom. I think someone has a pretty strict bathroom. <laughs> 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 got to be some sort of violation here yeah from the employer's side yeah it feels like there's other ways that you could solve for the problem that they have there but man there's just a lot to be unknown right yeah and these like little cord key code i mean i've seen those in certain applications but i think like on drawers or something like that i've never yeah. seen on a full like that's a door <laughs> yeah you hit that and it's going to open a little bit and just like a little bit of peak and actually you almost wonder that sign with also the ability that could peak a little bit curious people might come up to be like oh i could get a glimpse of what's going on like why is there like a pit behind there that drops into like you know the center of the earth or like what what is going on they're appealing to our curiosity someone's curiosity. asking me to go like look <laughs> yeah, there, right? that's exactly i'm always that one this is not a door mm, it looks like a door looks like <laughs> we need to investigate <laughs> Those locks are not meant to be used like this. They're meant to be used around a corner the opposite way. So if somebody really wanted to get in here, minimal force to get through that. They're not securing anything. So I'm just like highly curious. And it's only a three combination. So I'm sure it wouldn't take that many guesses to figure out what word they're spelling or what date or whatever. I wonder if they're different combos or if they're the same combo. I mean, like if you had to use this in a like bathroom emergency situation, even if you knew the codes it's going to take you a second to navigate both of those and then use the bathroom but as mia said you probably could just push your foot and, and like lean into it a bit and it'll take yeah. that right off yeah these ones look like they're almost like stuck like yeah they're... like glued on yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these are like the toddler locks like the toddler <laughs> cabinet yeah. lock just yeah. like yeah. one step up <laughs> now, now I'm, I'm now connecting the dots i'm like i know i've seen these before <laughs> somewhere but like what are yeah. they used for yeah but you're like supposed to basically pull the force like, like you're supposed to pit them against each other pushing against this door I, you probably need like what max 10 pounds like anybody even a toddler could probably like lean on this door and so get it open like, like rest my arm on it I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah what it may do is just deter people like oh okay it's going to be a little bit more effort than it needs to be and and then you put the fine warning on top of it that you'll be terminated if you do it so it's more deterrence than it is yes. security right right and it's not specifying whose employment like if i go well, in, am right. i going to get terminated it's like i don't work here but if i use that restroom am i gonna like i don't know the language is a little harsh yeah Seems like a, a culture thing, but yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, I don't know if I enjoy working at this establishment. If that's the kind of leadership style they're using. Yeah, so I mean, low knock on this, right? I don't really yeah. think it's about security at this point. Yeah, it's like no. deterrence. Yeah. Any final sure. marks before we give an actual lock and knocking score? I would guess who this employer was, but it would only be a wild stab in the dark. So my knocking score is going to be, since we're only dealing with door opening, it's going to be a one. I'm not going to do any social commentary. Yeah, I would have a low one on this too. Yeah, not too knocking bad. Just thought it was funny. You know, caught my eye. But yeah, we need Paige to tell us. Paige, if you're watching, drop us a line of the backstory yeah, do, for this. Do you work here? Like... Tell us, tell us about the leadership here. Tell us a little about the culture. <laughs> okay, final picture. You guys ready? Let's do it. This one hits you in layers. Wow, that middle picture is a bit trippy. There's a lot going on. Okay, now I got it. Is that tape, right? Yeah. And holy hell, I just got to the right. Yeah, yeah. It's time for a new door. Yeah. Yeah. In locksmith? <laughs> like, man. Oh, wow. There's even more. I didn't even see that on the far left. I like that they put their coffee on top of the... Is that a He's key? like, hold on. I, I need to set this down for a second. You need to take a picture of this. Yeah. I mean, they just need a new door. Yeah. This is, I would say, uh, almost a redo. Just the hinges alone. That's where I was like, okay, yeah, tape down, lock. Oh, electric strike. That's probably not working. Uh, they have a security issue going on right there. But then I was like, wait a second. This door used to be 
be on pivot. Yeah. Wow. And then they like modified it with these hinges and aluminum storefront. And you can tell it didn't go well several times. I think one good kick in the store is going to fall off. Do we know what type of building this is on at all? It's in a hospitality situation. Okay. Which yeah. could be a concern. There's obviously, there's a reason why there's access control on there. Probably convenience for, you know, a side entrance for hotel guests to come in and out. But with that not working, there's a concern there. Wow. There's just a lot there. It's a whole lot. You kind of get a glimpse. This is like a stairway yeah. exit or side entrance exit. So potentially if there is an emergency and loads of people are coming down this exit, there could be concern of people piling up right here, especially when you look at, I hate, this is one of my biggest pet peeves where there's a push bar that doesn't actually do anything, right? People are going to just run right into that. And like, oh crap, I have to hit this. So it might just be that extra step. But if there's 50 people running down the stairs, you could create some kind of uh, life safety issue here they don't even have that latch taped all the way in and i wonder if it like occasionally still catches yeah that's what it looks like i think they need more tape or better tape yeah that's like uh packaging. No, let's be real they just need to start over because how many times it looks like they've tried to put hinges on there like three four times three or four times at least yeah and these ones are like old and rusted couldn't get them off or just didn't want to and you can see they tried blue tape then they moved to the clear tape yeah the painter's tape that wasn't yeah. adding it I wonder what the closer is like on this. Oh, yeah. You can see a glimpse. I can, yeah. I wonder if it's attached. But also, maybe we can give them benefit of the doubt. Maybe the place is under construction. They just haven't gotten to this area yet, you know, in the refurbishment. But they're uh, sure they plan to do it. Because to me, this is like a 9 to 10. It's bad. Especially mm -hmm. if it's hospitality. Yeah. I mean, think of what impression you're leaving your guests, right? Like, Lee, I know you're a big experienced fan, right? Like the hardware and access control should be seamless into the experience of the overall building envelope. Like if this is the handshake of your door, I wouldn't want to go into this building for many reasons. It goes beyond any of the safety concerns, security theater, like all of that's like completely gone. This is what is a nightmare in a lot of cases for what people are looking for. I mean, bright side, there's a great opportunity here. You don't have to really do a lot to do much better. All upside, we will start at a nine just because there's glass still in there so they got some level of a barrier if you would of but outside of that yeah it's pretty much sucks yeah okay is that your official yeah. knocking or that's nine? nine is a nine yeah that's pretty bad um yeah i'm not gonna go 10 just because since the latch is taped down i don't think it's gonna keep people in in a fire so if there was some if there was a sl one more like mm, you're gonna get trapped in i would be at a 10 but basically this hotel has no security i mean yeah i'm sure the individual rooms have security but that's not comforting that somebody can come in the back way and just have at it most hotels don't have security roaming the halls making sure that there's no unintended folks there. I would agree with you. I think overall, eight or nine, life safety isn't really that big of a concern in this situation. But security, I would say that's pretty high up there. And then aesthetics and just the feeling that I get from looking at it, <laughs> like that's a 10 right there. The overall envelope of the door, just not great. No. This is a redo, like you said, just start over. Yeah, it's, just start over. It's, it's a good opportunity to change the experience just by redoing everything. Yeah, we've hit zero. So now we're just incrementally going to do it a little bit better. Yeah. Fine, Alexander. Yes. Thank you, Alexander, for letting us share this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate you joining us today. Thanks for uh, joining Unhinged. Join us uh, for the next episode. Our doors are always open, partially because they're unhinged. <laughs> nice. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a picture to submit, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.